Hello, Aldo Figueroa here. In this video, we are going to bring in a series of images into Maya to set up as a reference. So in the previous videos, I showed you how to do a screen capture of a video file uh, so that we're gonna use as a reference. Then we brought that video file into Photoshop. Uh, we edited it down, we cropped it, and we selected very specific frames, a uh, section of footage, and then we exported that as a series of images. And let me go ahead and show you my images that, that we have. And right here within this, uh, within this folder, I have these uh, images. It's just a series of images of this uh, dance fight walk <laughs> that, I, that I wanna use. But before we bring this into Maya, I wanna make sure that the, our file is set in the right location. So right now, this folder is located on my desktop. Uh, what I want to do, uh, let me go ahead and just move this off to the side here. Uh, I'm gonna go into Maya here. And if you have yet to do so, you should create a project directory. Now I already created a project directory, but you could always tell it to set project to select your project. Um, oh, I'm sorry, you could select the project window so you could create a new directory. I already have one created. You can see right here, I already have one that's called character animation and it's located in this specific folder. Otherwise, if you already have a project directory, you can always go into project, set project, and it's gonna open up a, a Maya window and you could select the location. So my project is already set. What I want to do, uh, let me go ahead and open up a window because I wanna go into the location of where my project directory is at. Uh, I'm gonna go into my folder right here and let's see, projects, I have character animation. Within the character animation project directory, I want to make sure that I move this folder, which contains all of my dance fight references. I wanna copy that folder into my source images folder. So right now I have some previous files here because I'm using a previous project directory. So I'm just gonna copy this. So I'm gonna, it's copying right there. So great, it's copying my images. So now what I'm going to do, let me go, go ahead and go back to Maya. They are now in my project directory. So I'm gonna go ahead and file. Let me go ahead and save my, fi my scene first. I'm gonna go to file, file save scene. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one just the dance fight reference. Now for my students, I'm gonna suggest that you open up your ready for posing folder or, or file and create a copy of that one. For this reference, I'm just gonna, I'm just creating a separate reference file so that you could know how to bring in these images as a reference. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to save as, and okay, great, file has been saved. What I want to do, I actually want to get the resolution of one image. So let me go ahead and go back here for my dance. Uh, let's see, I want to, if I just hovered here, it's gonna tell me the dimensions, or you can always open it up in Photoshop. I can see the dimensions is, 587 by 585, it's nearly square. I'm gonna make note of that because I'm, I want that same uh, size, uh, that scale. So I'm gonna, in Photoshop, we're gonna create a polygon plane. We're gonna resize it so it has that same type of dimension, scale it up, rotate it, apply a, a Lambert and apply a file onto it for the color. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna to go to create, I'm gonna to go to polygon primitives, and I'm gonna go into the plane option box. If you need to, I'm gonna go ahead and reset these settings. So for the width and height, instead of having one and one, now I don't wanna create a plane that's gonna be 587. I'm gonna do 5.87 by 5.85. Now, this is the ratio to my files. Whatever the ratio to your files are, 
use that. This is specifically for mine. So make, make a note of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this window to the side. Uh, the divisions, I could leave it as 10, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to create. What I want to do, I first want to rotate this so that uh, for X, I want this, let me go into the, my channel box, rotate X, I'm gonna change this to 90 degrees. And I'm gonna to switch to my move tool, pressing W on my keyboard, and I'm just gonna raise it up for right now. Now, if I wanna scale it, I'm gonna press R on my keyboard, I'm gonna click and hold down the, the center uh, box right here. I'm gonna scale this up. So I could scale it as large as I want to. Do not, do not scale individually on the sides because that's gonna break your ratio uh, based off the size that you, that you created. I'm gonna switch back to my move tool. And so what I have is this plane. Uh, I might decide to move my plane back. I'll decide the placement. But what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and with this plane selected, let's go ahead and name it. Instead of plane, it's going to be my reference. My reference plane. And as long as it's selected, right here, um, my tab, I have the rendering tab. You might have the surface poly modeling. I'm going to, I have the re rendering tab selected. And what I'm going to do, this icon right here is to create a Lambert material. It does, this does two things. It'll create it and I'll assign it to this plane. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it's a uh, one click, uh, two operations. So it now has assigned this Lambert 2 to my reference plane. Go ahead in the channel box, I'm sorry, the attribute editor, click on Lambert 2. And for color, we're gonna create a node. We're gonna create an image. We're gonna use a file. So within this create render node window, I want to select a file. So now for file, it's asking us what file do we wanna use? I'm gonna click on this little folder and it is going to take me to, let's see, uh, I'm gonna go into my project directory right here. I was testing this out earlier. I can go to my source images. You can see that my dance fight reference is right here. I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna select only the first image. I'm gonna tell it open. There's an option right here to use image sequence. I'm gonna turn this on. So now what it's going to do, I can't see it because on our keyboard in my uh, preference window, go ahead and press six on your keyboard to turn on the texture mode. So now, if all works well, I'm gonna press the play button right here and you can see that it is now playing. But notice how it stops because this is only displaying as long as we have frames. So at frame 33, it ends. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and end my animation at frame 32, or actually at frame 33. Okay, actually at frame 32. And one thing that I wanna point out is that I have my animation. Let me go back to my folder here. My first frame starts at frame one. If your first frame starts at frame zero, your first frame actually starts at frame zero. Let me just show you, I'm gonna to go to frame zero. I don't have one right here, but if you, your first frame starts at frame zero, but you actually want to start at frame one. You could do this frame offset. Go ahead and put minus one. Uh, let me show you, I'm going to put minus one. And you're going to notice that now my animation starts at frame two. If I want to start at frame zero, I'm going to increase this frame offset by one. So now it starts at frame zero. So, but for my animation, I'm just going to change this frame offset to zero. And you can see that it starts at frame one. So I'm going to change this back to frame one. And as I play, you can see that this now plays back as long as I play, push play, and I play head cursor. And I have my video here as a reference. Now, remember, this is a one cycle. So you can see his right foot is about to make contact. 
he's walking forward, left foot goes forward, and then right here at the end, this is where his right foot is going to be making contact again. I kind of base this off of his hands as well. So when we press play, you can see we kind of get the also the hand snapping motion. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. But within this video, I just showed you how we could bring in uh, to into Maya that this reference uh, apply it onto a plane. Now I'm not done just yet. What I'm going to do one more thing. Let's switch from the channel box. I'm sorry, from the attribute editor to the channel box layer editor, because what I want to do once you know where you want to place this. I'm going to su suggest that you select it and you go ahead and press this button right here uh, within the layer editor. This is going to create a new layer and assign this object to that layer. Because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and not template it. I want to reference it. So what this does, this puts it within our scene, but we can't select it. So as we're working, it will still update as long as we up to move the playhead cursor, the timeline. If you want to name it, you could go ahead and double click on it and say, I'm also going to name this layer as my, just my reference. I'm going to tell it save. And there you go. Uh, within these th uh, three different video files, the first video, we captured our reference video either on a Mac or Windows. In our second video, we use Adobe Photoshop to further edit down that video and export a series of images. And now in this video, I showed you how to bring in that reference uh, and apply it onto a plane and how to have it playback. So I hope that you were able to complete this. Let me know if you have any questions and good luck with the animation and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.